Hello everyone, my name is LNER Nerd, and welcome back to another video in our, in our my Republic of China playthrough. Um, picking up straight after we left off, pretty much, I decided to um, add more troops training, 72 that is, so we're going to have an army of nearly a million, hopefully when they're all trained, and that will allow us to uh, take on the Xinjiang issue. Now, um, hang on. Oh no. Current ruling, ruling party is not fascist. Right, so we can't do that focus even if we get 750k. So I'll have to manu manually justify them, that's the problem. But we've still uh, got a big step into uh, redrawing the Mc McMoan line, and probably, possibly, taking on the Soviet Union if Germany ever decides to chances are it will form a uh, I think it's the um, anti-soviet pact I think that do they have that in this no, it's base game hmm. they may go for the uh, yeah they, they might go for it no no idea if they do I'll jump on the bandwagon of Alex to Tanatuvia from Mongolia so that would be great but um well Straight away, I don't really see any point in not doing it. I'm going to declare war on. Well, it immediately declares war. So I didn't need to justify a war goal, I guess. No, okay. Um, got more divisions than them, so I'm in aggressive mode. Um, we're getting rid of the corruption. Hopefully, the war lasts long enough for it to um, go away. I don't really know how long it actually goes away for. Not how long. It, or, hang on, sorry. How long it um, takes for it to go away completely, or if it does. So, this is all just hope for me. Hang on, they've got a gap in their line. Who leaves a gap in their line? Right, that's it. I'm straight away just going for the capital. That should uh, annoy the AI, I think. Ah, we haven't completely left a gap in their line, but we've managed to push through here because of it. And we're hmm, not quite overrunning them. And oh, is that an? No, it's not. I was hoping that would be an encirclement move, an encirclement, but apparently not. I think we're getting there. Yeah, this war should be over, actually, uh, quite qu quickly probably. And yeah, they're about to capitulate. So if I manage to just get Jahar, I think they're done for. Yeah, so we're basically surrounding them now. They're not capitulate. Oh, of course, it's not a victory point, so it doesn't really. Uh, yeah, it doesn't do it. That's a shame. And they have. Right. Um, military factories. I'm going to put them all on small arms because I want to get the equipment to deploy these 72 divisions. Hope that's the plan, anyway. It seems we have a problem. It just get, I just got an event saying Republic of Korea joined the Allies, but that doesn't seem they have. Also, Japan has just nicked Indochina off France. So that means if I have if I have to go to war with them, I'd have to I'm gonna have to extend this front. Because they are in the Allies anyway. Hopefully they transfer these lands to me, I believe that's a focus. Not quite sure. And I'm starting to believe that um, well the war's not going to be going on for that long, but um, I'm starting to believe we just have to save up political power, which will be a bit of a problem, but it's manageable. And we can just head straight into war economy and stay there. Right, well, um, we're about to capture their capital. Um, I've got loads more troops now deployed. They are actually doing something well. I've decided that I'm going to build loads more rubber refineries, even though I don't really need them, because then we'll be definitely self-sufficient, and if someone wants to trade with us and give us civilian factories, then we'll have no shortage, shortage of resources at all. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm lining up all my forces on the um, Allies' borders, and um, so, so in case an attack, in 
case I have to attack Japan or they attack me for whatever reason, I will be ready and have some divisions stationed on the border. Um, well, a few days should be taking the capital to what I'm no that hasn't done it. Yeah it's over halfway but it's still not done it which is a bit annoying. Although what's not annoying is the fact I'm getting loads of uh, factories off of this which is really good. I hope it keeps up like this although there's not really that much of it left so I'd have to build more military industry if I need it. And it seems they haven't moved their capital either. So they must be really stuck for it. And Hungary is annexed to Carpatho Carp Ukraine. Surprised they haven't asked Slovakia yet for uh, southern Slovakia. That's part of their focus tree. The fascist one at least. And they are fascist because they're in the Rome Protocols and not with the uh, neutral powers. Right, it seems they're uh, nearly done for. And we've had way less casualties than them as well, so it's a success. Um, about to get a buff to to the army through a focus, which is good. Not even researched ra uh, radar yet, so I might as well just go do that. Um, hopefully uh, this war... Yep, it's over. No, I don't want to liberate communist China. I want to take all states and take all. Seriously? Right, I'll just get loads of victory points for the sake of it. Yay. Now take all states. We now control almost all of Manchuria. And going to uh, put the troops on the border with. Uh, the thing, the, the thing, East Turkestan bases. Um, gonna have to justify manually on them. I'm also gonna have to just hope that the Soviet Union decide doesn't decide that they want to guarantee them, because that would be the worst. How many should right? Hmm. I mean, I could sort of stand up to them if they're at war with somebody else as well. But I'd have to, I'd have to kill them quickly before uh, they can take out the other people, which is probably where the difficult bit is. Um, education for the nation. I'm going to have six research slots. Wow. I'm going to expand the oil deposit deposits because why not? What? Um, zero political power. So much for saving up. But. Uh, once the uh, war goal is done, I will be back. The war goal is completely finished. So, uh, I might as well uh, do something about that. But, the planes will... I don't... I haven't... I haven't been using my Air Force at all. So, uh, yeah, means I'm great even without an Air Force. I suppose that's half decent. Um, yeah, I noticed the Soviet Union was doing a Operation Z, so basically they're going to annex the territory I claim and then go to war with Japan. So I'll have to jump on the bag bandwagon with that and then hopefully have to turn on the Soviet Union after the war with Japan is finished. Because I want to unify all my core states. That is what the point of this series is, unifying China. So, um, well, I'm going to just straight up declare war on, uh, yeah, great. Yeah, it doesn't reduce the political power costs, it's a shame. Um, basically just going to advance and leave it. That's all I really think I need to do. Hope. Yes, I am gaining a lot, quite a bit of territory. Um, don't really care about wars that popped up, so I don't even know what that was. Um, and you know, what? I'll just check. Honduran, Costa Rican. Wa Why is Honduras a major? 
Why is Honduras a major? Come on, seriously. Oh wow, they've actually got them as a core state. They're making the Central American Empire. Of course they are. Of course. Hmm. Yeah, and they've still got the uh, in Banana Republic. Yes, they do. Every single one of them, ex except Panama, has got Banana Republic. It's just, yeah, of course, they're Banana Republics. Um, yeah, just going to leave it. I'll be back, hopefully, when the peace deal happens. Right, well, the uh, Spanish Republic has won the Civil War. You don't really see that often in Red 56. Um, Soviet Union could have a powerful ally, which is a bit of a problem. Um, turns out, Communist China is still the leader of the uh, People's Front, for some reason, even though they uh, ceased to exist few episodes ago. Um, currently doing the national focus, the tribute system claims, so I'm getting loads on, of claims from practically everywhere, and um, well, basically I'm going to have loads of occupied territories it seems, and there's a focus to demand Central Step and uh, Xinjiang, which would be great because it means I could avoid war if I improve my relations with them. So I'm going to do that now. Um, also, gain core states on Arunachal Pradesh and Kashmir. So, well, I would be fine with having my border going like this, and even down to here. I do actually have that as a claim. But um, having a border just sticking out here, not really. I understand it, because this area was claimed by the China today, and it was hold, held by the Qing Empire, I believe. Um, so, it's bit going to be a bit border gory, but I'm going to have loads of, uh, hopefully, places on my side, so I'll just become more powerful. Um, well, there's only two uh, actual victory points in this, so if I get those two, I should win the war. For some reason, I'm not assaulting here. Should be. Oh, is that communist? No, it's Soviet. Okay. Right. Hopefully, um, I'll only have to record until the next peace treaty. Right. Well, um, seems the United States of America has a grudge with fascist Mexico. Doesn't really surprise me. Fascist nation on the border. They'd do something about it, probably. Um, but. What's even more interesting is that Mexico, just before this, joined the Rome Protocols. So then it, well, the United States is at the war with the Kingdom of Hungary and Mexico. Italy seems to have enough sense to stay out of it, and Hungary will never be uh, reached unless they're at war with the uh, German Empire. But why is it? Why is the Hungarian flag there if it's the American-Mexican war? Oh, <laughs> Hungary is the uh, major, and so is Italy. So, um, basically, they're um, never actually going to finish the war and get a peace deal, which is quite funny, actually. Um, and the UK is in on it as well. Yay. I suppose this could be my chance to jump on the ban bandwagon, but I want to stay it. I want to get this area first before doing that. Um, I might get, get in on it, but is it really worth it? Is it? Um, hopefully, the peace deal is about to happen. Yeah, should be. Uh, once we get the capital, yeah, we got Kashgar. So, once we uh, conquer Urumqi, we should be able to do it easily. Ooh. Yes. But I'm not going to enter their war yet. 
No. No, no. I'm merely going to draw their troops to my border so Italy can weaken them and then I can go in for the kill, basically. I don't need that much, I just want this, this, that, and to puppet Indochina, which would be a good thing. And also uh, take that, because it's my core state, and it's going to be my core state anyway. Puppet Pakistan, because then it's not really border gore if um, there's two nations rather than just one nation surrounding that. Um, basically just trying to not have border gore happen, that's my only aim here it seems. Um, hmm. Well, we won. And that's not surprising at all. Um, well, during the last, during since um, when I last recorded, I, well, not last recorded, last made the clip, because it makes it sound like it's a completely different episode. Um, I left the Rome Protocols because I realised, hang on, I want these ports back, and they are not going to give their ports to someone who's in a faction with the person they're at war with. So that's, yeah. I basically just figured out logic, and also they're being beaten back. Although they can't make it through to there, so it's basically just Romania versus Hungary in this front. That's all it is. Unless they somehow, uh, well, you know what? Prob they probably did. Uh, yeah, do they? Hmm. Oh, I don't know. They don't have military access through Poland. If they did, then they could have just marched their troops through and Hungary would be helpless. But Hungary is helpless on its own, so great. Um, going to move all these troops onto the Soviet's border because if they say no, I might have to go to war, and that can be a massive issue. Also, my cat is in the room with me, and they it wants out, so I'm gonna have to let it out. Right, well um nearly there. Realised I shouldn't really have conquered Xinjiang because I've just demanded them to submit to me. Um, also, troop count of the Soviet Union, maximum of 287. I've got 224. So assuming they are somewhere in between the minimum and maximum, I have more troops than the Soviet Union. Also, I think Tanatuva might s submit to be, the, but I get the feeling that Mongolia might not, might not, which would be a little annoying. But then I'm going to have to train up loads of troops, move all these troops to this front, and then just take down the Soviet Union single-handedly, basically. And they're using their manpower on this. Or oh, hang on, they're communists. Okay. Um, <laughs> Yeah, we basically both both got unlimited. Ma I've got more than manpower than the Soviet Union does, and I'm only on volunteer only. China's a beast, actual beast. Um, be back when it's done. Oh, okay, good. It is making progress. For a moment, I thought it was stuck. Right. Well, we've uh, completed the national focus. So hopefully, the um, Say yes. They're going to. What's it? <gasps> yes, we've got Mongolia. We finally have Mongolia. Um, can't do anything with that at the moment. I need to hire a naval theorist. Um, because it seems I'm struggling. Also, I decided that I'd, um, yeah, this was actually during my war with Xinjiang, I decided that I'd get all this stuff, so that means I can maintain a massive navy, maintain a massive na navy with fuel, which I think 
is actually a decent objective. Um, are they going to return? Yes. Republic of China, the chonky boy. Now, there does remain the question of Dalian and East Hebei. I don't really think I can do anything about this. I'll die, to put it mildly. Um, why is the why is it still called the Dutch East Indies? Why? Why AI? Um, 1940, World War II still hasn't kicked off, I'm surprised about that. Um, Japan went democratic, worked to my advantage, except for the fact I couldn't really go to, the, go to war with them. And they joined the Allies. Got mm, surround me now. Even worse problem. Um, can't conquer Taiwan, just like real life, except in real life, this nation technically would have uh, went to Taiwan, and then the communist China would have t taken most of this. But, yeah, I can't really do anything about it. Um, finish the Chi I'll finish the Chinese ports focus, and then I'll probably actually finish up this series. Um, hmm. Right, well, not finish the port focus, um, just realised I should probably improve relations if I need to. Above 50, I'd say, is a decent target. Um, German Empire just declared one Polish Republic. Seems, um... Oh, it's the other way round. Right. Well, um, Poland's going to get destroyed. Germany's going to declare one Soviet. This actually could keep my series going because I might want to reclaim the Qing lands, but yeah, I have a claim on them. But come on, seriously, just... I can't really be bothered with this anymore. Um, I'm not going to go after all my claim states, that's just ridiculous. Um, the cores are enough. Why aren't they? Oh, wait, I've not. And of course, I've got to put a little bit there. Yeah. I may. Or I may not finish this. Um, yeah, there's no point in me just talking. I should cut. It's a bit getting a little uh, awkward, let's say. Right, well, oh, about to finish the focus, but that seems to be a weird glitch. This is not right. This is definitely not right. How is Poland still going? on earth? Where's the peace treaty? Is Danzig really worth that much? Nine... Oh, what? I'm sorry, what? No! What? How? You know, I shouldn't really even question it. It's, it, it's just how it, it is. Um... Well, we'll bypass the... Okay. It just had a bunch of random letters. Let's, let's just demand it all. Well, Portugal's friendly. Um, I'd say... Um, they've done decently well. Um, that's it from me for this entire season uh, series, not season what is this? There's only it's not like there's only four in the year of these. Um 
I'll probably um, either be on the Empire mod or on the Napoleonic World mod. Depends if I can find the Napoleonic World mod. And if I get bored of the Empire mod, I play it all the time. But um, I'll, I'll either see me play as Prussia or France. Either one. And those are the different mods, not the same mod. Um, goodbye. It's been fun. Um, oh. Oh. That's my first ever series. I decided to keep it saved. Um, goodbye, everyone. Uh, oh, yeah. I wasn't here last week because I was um, on holiday. That's just a brief explanation in case you aren't in the Discord server. It's a shameless plug. Uh, it's, it will be in the description of this video. Feel free to join. Goodbye.